everyone, Intuitive Edge here. Welcome to my channel once again. Thanks for joining me. So it's time to take a look at the cards at the aftermath and the fiasco that happened down in Texas at the Astro World Festival. I want to take a look at the cards to see what's going to be coming of this. Uh, many of you may have heard by now what happened down there at the concert where many people were crushed and several people lost their lives at this concert as they were crushed and trampled to death. Um, now, I've been listening to some eyewitness testimony online on TikTok and other places where people were recounting their stories and it's pretty horrific what people went through. And uh, I was curious if anything is going to come of this in terms of legal action. Um, I imagine there may be people suing. Is anything gonna come of that? So I pulled the cards and I wanna kinda go over what I'm seeing in the cards with this. Um, so I asked what will happen next? Is there, gonna, is there going to be any legal action taken against Travis Scott? Is he going to face any kind of repercussions for what happened? Now, the sense that I get from the cards is that I do get a sense that there will be lawyers involved. Um, I do think Mr. Scott's going to probably lawyer up and get some legal counsel. I do see that the legal team is going to put forth a defense that is going to put or try to put the blame back on the concert goers um, in other words, it's going to look like they're going to take advantage of a legal loophole, uh, possibly putting the blame, like I said, back on the people that were there being in the moment, maybe they were on drugs or some type of other thing contributed to what happened. And in, in the defense, it's not going to be the fault of Mr. Scott. It was just basically people in the moment that got out of hand. Um, and I do sense there's something about a legal loophole that they will also try to beef up their defense with. Um, however, I also get the sense that the legal loophole is a bit flimsy. It's going to look like a solid legal loophole, but I think a good enough lawyer on the other side could take a knife and rip it apart. I, I think that that could be taken down as a defense. Uh, so if people are willing to put up a good offense, I think that, that there could be some legal responsibility that could fall on the shoulders of Mr. Scott. But like I said, his lawyers are going to put up a good defense. And if people stop there, then that's as far as it'll go. But I do sense if people push a little harder that that legal loophole will be shown for what it is, that it's just a loophole. It's not the totality of the truth of what the law will bear, okay, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what I sense with it. Um, I do get the, let's see, for the cards I got, there was just some interesting energy playing out with the cards here. Uh, I got the Fool card on the environment looking back to the High Priestess, which is inner wisdom. She's on the future position. So I, I got some type of finagling or trying to exploit something with regards to how they can maneuver going forward. And I do get this Nine of Fire card of waiting, but I love the imagery of this card using my cat deck, by the way. But these cats are around this table and they're putting their heads together. Uh, to me, it's like lawyers getting together and looking over what strategies they can use and what they think will win their case. I do get the no BS queen at the top. This is the queen of swords. She sees through the BS of the situation. She gets to the bottom of things. Nothing gets past her, and that's on the outcome. So I do think that there, there will be some responsibility that will have to be taken 
by Mr. Scott, and I'm not sure what that looks like, but I do see courtrooms involved, so he may actually have to have a day in court over this, and actually, uh, at least, his, it's going to be a fight, at least, with his lawyers, and I'm sure they're going to try everything to get their client off using these legal maneuvers, but ultimately, I don't think those legal maneuvers will, will stand the scrutiny of a good counter-argument, so... That's what I see for this uh, very tragic situation and very sad for all of those involved, those that lost their lives, and also those that are pretty traumatized after witnessing something pretty horrendous. Um, a lot of the testimonies I witnessed were off, just awful, uh, not something anybody would want to have to live through. So um, anyway, uh, that's all I have to say for this. I do see some legal stuff coming down the pike, so we'll see how it all turns out. Thank you for listening. This has been Intuitive Edge. We'll catch you later. Bye for now.